Hello everyone, Miss Garland here to talk you through the Fulford School Enrichment Programme for 2020. We're hoping you're all getting on well at home and are excited to enter the sixth form in September. We're really excited to see you all. The Fulford School Enrichment Programme is designed to give you the opportunity to take part in activities beyond the academic subjects you're studying within the curriculum. Enrichment is an important part of your time in the sixth form. It's an opportunity to do something different to the study of your subjects, a chance to enjoy old interests, take up new ones and help others within our community. Our wide range and variety of enrichment activities will allow you to broaden your skill set and vision for the future, whilst furthering your passions and enjoyment time in school. You may be, uh, you may be completing activities to enhance your UCAS application, gain employable skills, to give something back to the community through a volunteering activity, influence a change in an area you're passionate about or you're simply looking to build on your academic studies whatever your motivation make sure you get involved because there's plenty of activities to choose from the enrichment program runs on wednesdays uh, during period five and the minimum commitment is one hour per week your enrichment hours will span across three categories personal development activities work related learning and community participation. This makes sure you get a broad enrichment to support your future goals. Your participation is recognised and rewarded by the school throughout your time in the sixth form. When recording your hours, you'll fit your activities into our heart values and work towards the heart badges to recognise your work throughout the year. Those with outstanding contributions to school life will be recognised at the A-level awards evening. The log sheet is included in the presentation for you to see what it looks like. Overall, this is a brilliant way for you to be credited and praised for your enrichment journey. So what opportunities are available for you? Well, the opportunities are varied and plentiful. Some sessions are run at school by teaching staff, while others are run by high quality external providers. Most courses are free, but some do have a charge. Activities might include assisting in student or curriculum support through peer mentoring, volunteering in some capacity in the community, or gaining a new skill. How good your spaghetti bolognese? Could you cook it on a budget? The programme also lets you gain credit for activities you already do outside of school. Log hours for your sports team, driving lessons, work, and any other ongoing hobbies. Just check with your tutor whether the activity you wish to take part in would gain accreditation under the enrichment scheme before you get started. Do you want some more options? Got an exciting idea? Just get in touch and we'll try and make it happen. So why don't we get started now? I've heard lots of incredible acts of kindness and community support going on at the moment with our current lockdown situation. People have been taking on new skills, helping their families and communities and working really hard. So we've come up with a way of recognising and encouraging your extracurricular activities during the summer. Starting a summer project now will allow you to work towards the heart badges. Simply choose a task you're interested in or are able to complete, match it to a category and the heart value from the table and allocate about 10 hours to completing it over the next two months. So here's a list of activities to just give you an idea to get you started. So you might complete mindfulness activities or training. Are you already using the Headspace app? Are you doing some mindful crafting or using one of those colouring books? You could complete some charity or volunteer work. Does someone in your area need a shop doing? Is there any gardening to be done for someone that's not able to do it at the moment? Or you could create a business proposal for a scheme you'll run when lockdown ends or complete a short course in something you're interested in. I'll show you the useful link to these later on. Or how about taking on a physical challenge? Any new sports you'd like to try? Has your Strava app got a challenge you could enter? They've certainly been helping me focus. These are only a few suggestions to get you started. This list could be endless and you'll have many more ideas, I'm sure. Pause the video here and read over these carefully and see which ones you might like to take up or give a go. Here's the table we'll be using to record the hours. You can see how the different activities fit in and where you need to add in the heart values. 
could pause the video again here and have a closer look at where your activities might fit in and then how those hours match up. Here's a list of some of the great courses that our current year 12s are undertaking now. The Future Learn courses are a brilliant way to access free learning in areas you're interested in. If you prefer to do more study, why not use your enrichment time to complete some of these throughout, your, throughout the summer? Finally, choose how you'll evidence it. It could be a logbook, a letter from an employer or your community, photographs or any other method you want. Bring evidence in September and you'll be well on to the enrichment programme already. Most of all, have fun with the project. Find your interest and passion and push yourself to achieve something this summer. Lastly, have you found a project elsewhere you want to pursue? Made your own community event? Get in touch and tell us about it. We'd love to hear what you get up to. If you've got any questions about the enrichment programme or the summer project, please get in touch. You can see my emails there. So we'll be back in September with the option forms for you to choose what activities you undertake. Until then, have a brilliant summer and I can't wait to see what you get up to.